Hi everybody, so in today's lesson we're going to be talking about using effects in Sonic Pi, which is a way that we can alter and modify the sounds that we use, and that includes both synth sounds and samples. So effects are a way that we can change these sounds to have a slightly different texture or do some different things. Um, this is a very common way to play with sound in any kind of digital workspace space when you're working with music and sounds so is not just specific to Sonic Pi. And even we see this with like synthesizers, electric guitars, any electronic instrument is capable of using some kind of effects. And in Sonic Pi, they're referred to as the letters FX, but really we're talking about effects, okay? And specifically the way they affect a sound. Okay just so we are clear on that, okay? So just to bring it to your attention, in the help window, uh, going down to tutorial number six, it talks about effects, it talks about there is a reference to a guitar pedal, um, and then it gets into how to add effects, how to do it in practice. So I uh, recommend you go and check out there. Also in this tab in the help window, it goes through a list of all the different effects you have. I'll get back to that in a little bit, but it's a very helpful resource as there are many different effects. Um, they all do different things and they all have different ways of affecting a sound. So uh, you're going to have to explore to figure that out. But I'm just going to go over some basic syntax things and how they can be used. OK, so uh, I'm going to start out just with a live loop. Um, I'll call it, I don't know, just uh, FX1 to end. Uh, and I'm just going to play a simple ring here. Let's do the usual dominant seven arpeggio. And then I'll do sleep for one. Okay, so there we have it. Now, just so you're aware, effects don't just work with live loops. You can use effects at any point on any piece of code, but uh, I'm just going to keep with the live loops that we've been doing. Okay, so to make an effects, uh, an effects is a block, okay, just like live loop, which means we're going to need a do and an end. And everything we want to be affected by the effects needs to go inside that, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to do it before my live loop, okay? So to make my effects, I'm going to first write with and then underscore FX, okay? And you can see the autocomplete there. Then as I hit the space key, this drop down menu comes up. And again, these are all the different effects that we have available to work with, okay? Um, and some, they do different things, they'll have different effects. So again, you're gonna need to go through. Some are not gonna necessarily do much um, in terms of affecting the sound, so something especially like sound out or sound out stereo is probably not going to do much, but um, I'm going to go with echo. That's a pretty easy concept to understand. Okay, so uh, I'm going to type do and I'm going to go down here and type end. Okay, so now I have this uh, echo that is affecting the sounds that I have playing here. So what it's going to do is it's going to add an echo. So instead of just hearing the note once, it's going to sort of echo away as I go. Okay, so there you hear each sound now, each note is echoing as it plays. It's not just playing once, we hear that sort of echo there, okay? Just to maybe highlight that, I'll do sleep too, so it has a longer time between each note. Okay, so there we have it. So that's how I use an effect. Um, now just to make a note specifically about a live loop, I could have the effects inside the live loop as well. And it's not gonna really affect the sound that much. However, uh, it is better practice keep it out just because it has to do with sort of uh, computing power and things like that. I'm not gonna get into the specifics, but just better practice to put it outside the live loop, uh, at least for what we're doing, okay? So that is how I use an effect. Uh, now, each effect has a or several options that go with it, which is ways we can tweak that effect to change the thing that it is doing to the sound. So I'm going to go to the help window for a second here. I'm going to look up echo. So I'm in the effects tab. I'm going to look up echo. OK, 
okay? So here it gives me all these different options that I can use, all right? Uh, it tells me a little bit about the effect, uh, and then the options, it goes into more detail here, okay? And it gives us good information. It tells us the default. Uh, it says sometimes that it must be between a value of zero and one. Inclusively just means that you can use one. If it wasn't inclusively, uh, it would need to be less than one. So this gives us a good idea so we don't go in and maybe put in a wrong number or we put in like a negative number. It talks about scaling and things like that. Uh, but the, this is all good information to know as we play around. Now these things, amp, mix, premix, uh, preamp, those are you're gonna see with all the different uh, effects and just to give you an example so something like mix uh is how much of the effect you're going to hear so if i were to do mix zero i don't hear it at all it's basically like me turning the volume down on just the effects and then if i do mix one i'm going to hear it all i could kind of maybe go halfway so i only have a little bit of echo all right, but that's one option, okay? And amp and that sort of stuff. You know that you'll see that on all the effects, okay? But if I go back to the help window here for a second, here's some others it talks about. So phase, I'm gonna look at phase for a second. So phase is the time between echoes in beats. Now phase is some, it has to do with the rhythm sort of, of the beat. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna write phase and I get the autocomplete there. I'm gonna go to 0 0.25 and hear what that sounds like. Okay, so that's seemingly what, if we check the phase default, 0 0.25, okay? So that's why it sounded exactly the same. Let me make it maybe 0 0.5. Okay. All right, so there you hear the phase was the space between each uh, note as it echoed was different. Let me do like 1, 2, 5. All right, so there we have, and maybe I could even really speed this up. Uh, okay, so you can hear now by playing around with the phase, uh, it changes something about the effect. It still echoes, but the phase is affecting sort of how fast or how slow those echoes are repeating. So this is an example of an option when we talk about using an effect. So after I put with effect in the effect, I put a comma, and then I can do the option. I can add multiple options to an effect, okay? So if we go back to the help window here, it talks about decay. So the time it takes for echoes to fade away. So this is how long the overall echo is lasting. So if I do comma here, I get decay. Maybe I only want it to last for like half a beat. Okay, so that's me being able to affect both how quickly it echoes and then how long the echo lasts for. I could do something maybe like a bigger number. kind of see there in the window in the scope that some of these are lasting longer so now I've affected the decay to make the echo of each note last much longer so this is just one example of one effect and some of the options that I can use with it all right so what you would need to do is you go through you say oh I want to look at maybe this crush and then you're saying okay obviously I have amp mix premix yeah, but you have something called gain, you have cutoff, you have res. So those are things that you can play around with as well. So uh, you could try crush and then as options, you could put those things. You put gain, you put cutoff and play around with those numbers and see what they do. Okay. Um, we can add more than one effect at the same time as well. So I have this echo effect, but let's say I want not just echo, I want another one. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, distortion here. Okay. So I have a do, I have an end. We really need to be mindful now as we add more effects that this is going to change uh, how many ends and do. So especially if you have live loops or like a dot times do, uh, really need to start keeping track of everything so we don't get an error. But let's see what this does now. All 
All right, so that distortion kind of adds more of a gritty sound to it. Again, I could go to my help window here, look at distortion. So distorts, reducing the clarity in favor of a raw, crunchy noise. So here I only have this one effect, one option besides sort of the mix, and that is the amount of distortion. It says a value between zero and one. So let's say I want a little more distortion. I would go to distort and then maybe 0 0.9. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that makes it uh, much grittier, but a little loud. So I could go in and add the amp on this and maybe take it down to like 0 0.75. Okay, and that has a little bit more uh, of an effect on that. So here's me now using two different uh, effects here. Now, just so you are aware, the order that you do them will also make a difference on what the output of the sound sounds like. So here I have a distortion and inside of that I have an echo. I could move this echo to the outside and then listen. You can hear there, there's sort of these higher pitch tones that kind of go along with it. So that being the difference, if I just switch this back out again. those higher pitch tones aren't quite as as distinct okay and this is very specific to sort of what i have here all right so you kind of have to experiment with what effect you're using the order you're doing the different options you're playing around with but there's lots and lots of stuff you can do okay you could even add a third or fourth you could really start stacking these different effects to come up with unique and interesting sounds beyond just what you have or beyond the sound you can start playing around with like synths as well like what sort of synth maybe how that is affected by it i'll just throw one out here real quick um so i'm gonna do a hollow let's see <laughs> Okay, and then again, I could go in here and... Okay, so can really start having an effect on, on what you are working with, okay? So there's that. Now, I'm just gonna quickly comment this out and just do one more example uh, of in effect, but I'm gonna use a sample this time, okay? Just to show you that this does not just affect synth sounds, this will affect any sound we have in Sonic Pi. So I'm gonna go sample, I'm gonna do this drum symbol closed for a second, uh, and then I'm gonna sleep for, let's say, 0 0.25, okay? So right off the bat here, I just have, Okay, so now I'm gonna add an effect to this and I'm gonna use something called a flanger, all right? Um, and I have a certain understanding of how this effect works. So I uh, am gonna do this kind of quick, but know that this came through some experimenting of what kind of sound we have. So flanger has a lot of different um, things going on with it in terms of the options that we have, okay? So one thing I'm gonna do is depth. So greater depth adds a more prominent effect, okay? Which means I'll hear more of that. So let's try depth. It had four, I'm gonna put it all the way up to 10. Uh, decay is another one, which is if I check, okay, uh, the decay time in milliseconds. So I'm gonna make that maybe, uh, what was the, okay. Two, I'm gonna make that four. And then there also is a phase, which I'm going to actually make rather big as well. And let's see what we get so far. So I'm just gonna play around slightly for a second. I like that longer phase. So I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, I probably want some headphones to really pick that up. Uh, but it sort of creates this sort of background kind of up and down sort of background pitch, sort of bump, 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 bump. So if we... So you kind of can get that effect. I can play around. There's something called the wave, which I can do, uh, which I think if I do that. Oh, 
Okay, so now I hear how this effect, and just to see for a second, let's comment this out so you can kind of hear the difference. Oop, what did I leave out? This live loop. Okay, so there it is without the effect. Here it is with the effect. All right, so there I have it. Okay, and now maybe I put these two together. Okay, and certainly one is not, no, let me I turn the amp up on here just to turn the amp down. So some effects maybe get a little drowned out by other things going on. Right, so you kind of have to play around with what works and what doesn't and what goes well together and what doesn't, right? But just sort of illustrating the different things that we could do. Again, I could maybe change the sample and see how it affects it. I'm gonna get this out. All right, so there's plenty you can do with these samples, all right? So for this assignment, I wanna see, I got a reference sheet here, which talks about, okay, adding effects like we did, options, multiple options, multiple effects together. So the checklist, I wanna see at least three different effects, at least one that was not covered. So I did distortion, echo, and flanger. I wanna see you find one. Uh, and play around with it yourself. Uh, use both effects like I did here. Use some on samples, use some on synth sounds. Uh, try an effect with at least two options. So that would be like decay and phase or distort and amp. Try one, uh, two different effects on the same sound. So similar like I did here with distortion and echo, okay? Uh, so those are the requirements for this project. Uh, Again, take some time, play around, look in the help window, look at the specific sound you're looking for, see what you can do with it, what the values maybe are that you need to change, and just experiment with the way that sounds over the live loops that you make. All right, uh, so looking forward to seeing what you make.